Let me start this video with a simple question. What is the future of energy and power generation? The answer is renewable sources. Over the last 100 years, there's a sharp jump in energy requirement all over the world and that resulted in power generation mainly from coal, which is a non-renewable source. While we got the required power from coal, it severely damaged our planet. And today, we humans are facing a big problem of climate change and pollution. If we continue to exploit our planet, it will soon become unlivable. Especially some of the Indian cities are among the most polluted cities in the world. And one thing is for sure, the usage of energy is only going to increase in the future. Hence, there is only one solution. Power generation from renewable sources. In fact, now that the auto industry is transforming from traditional petrol diesel vehicle to electric vehicle, there is going to be huge demand for electricity production. Another benefit of renewable source would be that India has a huge dependency on import of oil and it directly impacts the Indian Forex Reserve. On the other side, India has abundant sunshine to produce renewable energy. Hence, Indian government knows that if India can produce enough renewable energy, it will meet the growing domestic demand and eventually reduce its oil imports. Hence, the Indian government is clearly focused towards the renewable source of energy. Just to give an idea, the current renewable energy production in India is around 100 gigawatt and Indian government has set up a target of 500 gigawatt of renewable energy production by 2030. That's five times from current level in the next eight years. So you can imagine the growth potential. Hello friends, my name is Sahil and this is my Pursa Finance Academy. In this video, I want to cover the fundamentals of a small cap company that plays an important role in production of renewable energy. Let me give you a hint. It is the only solar glass manufacturer of India. Well, it is Borosil Renewables. So in this video, we'll cover the business of Borosil Renewable, its promoter details, competitors and key risk, future growth potential, and then we will discuss the financials along with valuation. But before we proceed, let me clarify that my videos are not for traders. So if you are a trader and expecting that the moment I cover the company, the share price would jump, then it is not the right channel. My videos are only for long-term fundamental investors who want to create wealth in the next 5, 10, 20 years. And I'm not here to give stock tips. I strongly believe that if you invest based on stock tips, you can't create wealth in the stock market. I'm here to explain the business of companies that are looking fundamentally strong with bright growth prospect and give my point of view so that you can do your own research and make an informed investment decision. All right, let's get started. Borussia Renewable is the first and the only solar glass manufacturer in India as on date. Earlier, Borussia Renewable was also known as Borussia Glasswork, but later the name was changed to Borussia Renewable. If you look at the history of the company, Borussia Renewable is part of Borussia Group that was established in 1962. So Borussia Group has a history of 60 years. It started its journey as manufacturer of glass named Borussia. However, in order to simplify the group structure in early 2020, Borussia Group clubbed its five entities into two entities. Gujarat Borussia, Vinyl Glasswork and Fennel Investment and Finance were clubbed into Borussia Glasswork, which is now also known as Borussia Renewable. And its consumer scientific and pharmaceutical packaging business was clubbed into Borussia Limited. So after the restructuring, Borosil Renewable got the solar glass business where it manufactured and sell solar glass used in solar panel. And Borosil Limited got the consumer product, scientific, industrial and lab glass work and its pharmaceutical packaging business. Borosil started its solar glass manufacturing journey in 2010 in Bharuj, Gujarat. By FY18, it had a manufacturing capacity of 180 ton per day, which was increased to 450 ton per day by FY19. Company is planning to add another 500 ton per day capacity by FY22, and this is under construction. Then company is planning to add a total of additional 1500 ton per day capacity by FY24. It means the production capacity would become four times in the next two, three years. Now, Borosil Renewable manufactures different type of glasses for solar panel with different properties and usage in different geographies. For example, in terms of usage, it has various solar glasses for utility scale ground solar PV that are used in high scale energy generation. Then it has glasses used in greenhouses, then glasses used in solar rooftop and so on. Over the years, Borosil Renewable has done various innovation. For example, it has introduced high efficiency solar glass with matte finish with higher transmission and high output. Then it created anti-glare solar glass for solar projects near airport. Recently, it launched fully tempered 2mm solar glass 
that is very lightweight with higher lifetime and durability. Then it created antimony free solar glass which is a patented technology from Borosil Renewable. This antimony is very dangerous for glass and Borosil Renewable was able to remove this and that would result in higher performance. As far as Borosil Renewable customers are concerned, Borosil Renewable has over 100 domestic customers. Overall, around 18-20% to business of Borosil Renewable is from export mainly in Turkey and Europe. However, company is expanding its reach in US, Russia, Middle East and North Africa. If you look at the promoters, Mr. Pradeep Kheruka is the executive chairman of the company. He is the second generation member of Kheruka family to lead the 60-year-old Borosil group. He has an experience of over 40 years. Mr. Shrivar Kheruka is the vice chairman of the company. He is the third generation member of the family. After completing his education from University of Pennsylvania and working in a consulting firm in Boston, Shrivar joined Borosil Group in 2006. So overall, the leadership has a rich experience in glass manufacturing business. Hence, on the business and its leadership, I would rate it 10 on 10. If you look at the Indian competitors, there is no competition in India for Borosil Renewable. It is the only solar glass manufacturer in India. However, there is a strong competition from China, Vietnam and Malaysia that are the key hubs of solar glass manufacturing. Just to give an idea, around 95% of global production of solar glass is controlled by Chinese companies that determine the international prices. Due to that, the prices of Chinese products are at much lower rate. However, Indian government has introduced anti-dumping duty on Chinese products that essentially means that the prices of Chinese products would not be that cheap. This is mainly to promote domestic players. This anti-dumping duty was imposed in 2017 for 5 years. Then, Indian government has also imposed anti-dumping duty on Malaysia. Even European nation has imposed anti-dumping duty on China and has recently extended that to next 5 years. This would help Borosil Renewable to grow its business in Europe. Indian government has also imposed BSR that is basic custom duty on solar panels starting April 22. This would again favor the domestic companies, although the competition risk would depend a lot on anti-dumping duty, basic custom duty and PLI scheme. And since Borussia Renewable does not have control over the pricing, it is a big risk. Because if China decreased the prices, it would adversely impact the margins and profitability of Borussia Renewables. Over the last few years, solar power has emerged as a major growth area all over the world. Just to give you an idea, the current state of power production in India, it has a total installed power generation capacity of 384 gigawatt as of June 21. Out of this, thermal contributes around 234 gigawatt and renewable contributes around 97 gigawatt which is roughly around 25% of total power production. Out of this, solar has 42 gigawatt of production which is around 44% of total renewable capacity. Then Indian government has set a target to install 175 gigawatt of renewable energy by 22 of which solar is 100 gigawatt which is now revised to 300 gigawatt by 2030. That means solar power is expected to grow from 42 gigawatt at current level to 300 gigawatt by 2030 which is 7 times growth in next 8 years. Out of this, currently Borosil Renewable is contributing in just 2 gigawatt power production and it is targeting 10 gigawatt production by FR24 and has already invested in increasing its manufacturing capacity. Then, government has also introduced a PLI scheme worth 4,500 crore for solar modules to boost domestic manufacturing. Government also has strong focus on reducing the dependency from China under Atman Nirbhar Bharat initiative and this would also benefit Borussia Renewable. All these factors would result in high growth opportunity for Borussia Renewable. Hence, on future growth, I would rate it 10 on 10. Alright, now let us explore the financials of Borussia Renewable. Let's first start with its share price movement. So if you look at last one year movement, in last one year it touched a low of 213 rupee and a high of 747 and currently it is trading at levels of 632 and in last one year the share has generated a return of 175%. So it was trading at levels of 229 and from there look at the sharp recovery. But although in last 3-4 months there has not been much movement in the share price. And if you look at last 5 year movement, look at this return. The stock has generated a return of 1122% and touched a low of 27.5. So this low was during the COVID. So if you look at the stock price movement between May 2018 till March 2020, there was a fall of 50% in its share price. But from there, look at this sharp recovery. The share has jumped more than... 
2000%. So if you see, the share has jumped more than 2000% post-COVID lows. Now there's an interesting checklist on ticker tape. On left hand side, you can see it says that the intrinsic value is actually red. It means that the current price is more than the intrinsic value. Second, it is in green, which is that return on equity is higher than the return on bank FD. And then the third, again, dividend return is in red. It says stock does not offer attractive dividend return. So obviously it is in growth stage. So dividend is not that high. And if you look at the entry point, it says it is a good time to enter as stock is not in overboard zone. And finally, it says there are no red flag. The stock is not in ASM or GSM list. Now let us explore the financials of the company. You can click on this tab on the top. There are three tabs, income, balance sheet and cash flow. Let's look at it one by one. So here on income statement, all three are in green. First, it says higher than industry revenue growth. So in last five years, revenue has grown at a rate of 14.53%, which is much higher than industry average. Then second, if you see, it is increasing market share. So market share has increased from 15% to 18%. And it says that in last five years, net income has grown at yearly rate of 41.96%. So all three numbers are in green. Now, if you look at the total revenue, in FY18, revenue stood at 332 crore, then it fell down in FY19, again in FY20. But look at the sharp recovery in FY21. From 274 crore, the revenue jumped to 507 crore. If you look at the EBITDA, it was 75 crore in 18, then 64 crore, it fell down to 40 crore in 20. But look at this jump, almost five times jump to current levels of 222 crore in FY21. Now, if you look at the net income, it was constant for 2018 and 2019, then fell down to 0.46 crore. But look at this sharp jump in uh, the profitability, it is 89.64 crore. If you scroll down, you can see all the details like your annual reports and the investor presentation. So if you want to do in-depth research like I do, you can explore all these documents on ticker tape website. I've already provided the link in the description. And apart from this, if you look at the balance sheet details, if you scroll down, you can see that it has got a debt to equity ratio of 0.77%. In terms of fraction, it is 0.1. And remember that it is negligible. If the debt to equity is less than one, it is good. And a debt to equity ratio of 0.1 is almost negligible, which is a good sign. And it says over the five years, current ratio has been 479%. So that is a good news. Apart from this, if you look at the cash flow, the cash flow says that it, is, it was 22 crore in FI18, then it fell down to minus 204 crore, then it was minus 80 crore. But in FI21, it stood at 134 crore. So it is a positive cash flow. Now let us look at the holding pattern of Borosil Renewables. So if you click on this tab, and if you scroll down, it says there is low pledge promoter holding. So this is a good sign. Company doesn't have, so pledge promoter holding is insignificant. Apart from this, the total promoter holding has been constant, mutual fund holding has been constant, and foreign institution holding has been constant. So if you scroll down, you can see the shareholding pattern. The promoter hold 61.73% holding in the company, mutual fund holding is negligible, domestic holding is negligible, and foreign institution hold 5.44%. And if you want to see the trend over the period of last four or five quarters, you can see that promoter holding was 70.5% in September 20, then fell down to 61.89%. But from there, it has been more or less constant and currently it is 61.73%. If you look at the mutual fund holding, in last three quarter, it is almost negligible. Now, this is something a bit confusing because on one side, Borussia Renewable has got bright growth prospect, but on another side, mutual funds are not holding any significant shareholding in the company. Then if you look at the other domestic institution holding, they also don't have any significant holding in the company. Now, if you look at the foreign institution holding, the foreign institution holding sharply increased from 0.42% in September to 8.79%. But then it fell down. Again, it fell down and last two, three quarter, it is more or less constant. Although in, as compared to September, in December quarter, uh, foreign institutions have increased the shareholding and it is currently 5.44%. Apart from this, you can also look at this peer tab and compare the performance of the company with its peers. But since uh, Borussia Renewable do not have a direct competitor in country, it is not a wise decision to compare. So it is showing uh, the comparison with La Opera and Borussia and Hawkins Cooker. So let's not get into that. Overall, financially, company is looking good with good growth ratio, good profitability and negligible debt level. Company has a good amount of reserve. 
So currently, Borussia Renewable has a market cap of around 8,200 crore. So it is a small cap company. As far as valuation is concerned, Borussia Renewable is trading at levels of around 630 at a P ratio of 44. Now, since we don't have any listed competitor, we can't really compare the valuation. But generally speaking, a PE of 44 is on the higher side. Although the growth prospects are very bright. Hence, company would command a premium valuation. So in this video, we discuss the fundamentals of Borussia Renewable. It is in the business of glass manufacturing for solar panel. And it is the only Indian company till date to manufacture solar glasses. Borussia Renewable is a part of Borussia Group that has a history of 60 years. So it has a very experienced leadership. As far as future growth is concerned, the future of energy is green energy. And Indian government has set a very ambitious target for green energy production. Also the fact that Indian government is now focusing on promoting indigenous Indian companies. So this should also benefit Borussia Renewal. The only concern is that the solar glass pricing power is controlled by China and its South Asian subsidiaries. So any fluctuation in the solar prices can impact Borussia Renewal margin. But overall company is looking fundamentally strong with good profit growth, high margins and profitability and negligible debt level. As far as valuation is concerned, it is slightly on the higher side with current PE ratio of 44. But I believe that Borussia Renewable is one stock that can be a part of portfolio and can be bought on periodic basis as well as on dips. So what is your take on Borussia Renewable? Let me know in the comments. I hope you find the video useful. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.